hello guys today i'm again back with another video in my channel my dream so today i will show you what a led bulb consists i mean the parts they have and if it gets breakdown how to repair it step by step in details So here you can see a 10 MFD 160Y electrolytic condenser or a capacitor and a 155J 400V non-electrolytic capacitor that means a non-polarity capacitor and there are 4 diodes, rectifier diodes that is of and 47 ohm resistance And you can also see that there is a there are two 470k ohm resistance and there are 18 pieces of LED lights of 3 volt each so here you can see a diagram given in the insider circle there it is a 470k resistance 155j 400 volt capacitor both are parallelly connected and four rectifier diodes in this yellow patch you can see a 10 mfd hundred or 100 volt capacitor and a 470k resistance and here you can see there are 18 pieces of led bulbs which are all connected in a series of 3 volts each and from the circuit we get 54 volts of dc so take the meter and switch it at 2000 K ohm and now we will measure the high resistance of 47 K resistance and we will get the correct value of this and now we will measure the high resistance of 470 K now we will get the correct value of this resistance and so we will also take the rotary switch at continuity mode and check the capacitor of 155J and in fact we will not get any value that means it's ok it will show null ok so again we have to take the rotary switch at 2000K ohm and measure the 470k resistance similarly it will also show the actual resistance value okay so now I will measure the four diodes basically there is a theory behind this diode that in one side of the value will be shown while at the other side it will not be shown so now we can see that the two diode value is shown and the other two value is not shown and make sure that you have to place your meter at the continuity mode ok so now we can see that there are two more resistances left of 47 ohm and we also have to check the two and so I have taken the meter position at 2k ohm or 200 ohm and we will see the value of the two resistance in total 24 and you also have to uh, see that the value which you will get is the half of the actual resistance value because both are parallelly connected okay so 
take the meter position at the continuity mode and check the LED lights whether they are glowing or not. So you can see that I am keeping the, the two prods in each of the LED lights and you can see that it's glowing so that means it's okay. So again and you have to measure it one by one and this you can see that it's not working. It's not working. Yes, it's not working. So we will encircle it to make it sure that after all the lights are measured, checked, sorry, you have to deattach it and install a new one. This one is okay. As well as this one is also okay. It's working. Okay, this one is also okay. This one is also working. So now you can see that this one is not working. So again we, are, we will encircle it. This one is working. And check the other ones whether it's working or not. Okay, so at last we have got four LED lights which are not working. So we will deattach them with a the solder. Okay. So after checking the LED lights, we can see that the lights which are not glowing will be deattached and the dysfunctional ones will be thrown. <laughs> so you should always keep this thing in your mind that if only one LED light is not working, the entire bulb system will not work because they are all connected in a series. And another thing which I will also impart that if you have to keep it in your mind that if the LED light is dead, then don't try to switch it on again and again because the capacitor may bust and as fast as possible remove the bulb and mend it. So after deattaching de the new ones, do check the lights again whether it's working or not. So if you haven't yet subscribed my channel, do that immediately and this video clip helped you. Do hit the like button and comment down below in the comment section if you are facing any other problems. So here you can see that I am attaching new LED bulbs on the deattached portions and I am using Max Gold liquid paste to attach the new LED bulbs. Okay, after attaching the new ones, do check all the lights again whether it's working or not and glowing. And if you see that it's all glowing, do connect it with the electricity and attach with the LED bulb. Okay, now you can see that I'm attaching the bulbs with the wire that is connected to electricity.
So now you can see that the electric bulb is working normally. And now we will get the output voltage. of 57 volts that means it's okay thank you guys do subscribe my channel and stay tuned to get more videos on it and get updated thank you